My name is Jenna and welcome to day three of the Because We Can Readathon. I'm actually your host for today, so be sure to hop on over to the Because We Can Readathon official YouTube channel to check out my video there if you are planning on entering the giveaway, as that is where you will need to leave a link to your entry in the comment section of that video, not this one. Today's challenge is the Dalmatian Plantation Challenge. And basically we just wanted you guys to show us 101 of something. I had an idea and then that idea fell through, then I had another idea, then that idea fell through, so instead I came up with this idea. I wanted to see if I had 101 books on my shelves that were published before the year I was born. I was born in the year 1995, so we are looking for books published 1994 and earlier. Check it out. This video was gonna be a test of my counting skills. Like, whew, I'm nervous. All right, everybody, let's see if I can find 101 books on my bookshelf that were published before I was born. I was born in the year 1995, so we are looking for books published 1994 and back. We are gonna start with a box of books that are mostly from my parents. So theoretically, I should be able to find like a decent amount of books in this box. If I have a book that's was first published in a year previously to before I was born, but the edition I have is published afterwards. I'm still gonna count it because like, it still technically was published beforehand. Let's look in the box. But of course we have to count and I am real nervous about counting. When was this book published? I'm gonna assume this was published like forever ago. I assume the original Jules Verne version was published before 1967, but this book, the abridged version, was first published in 1967, which clearly yeah, I was not born yet. We have our first book. Oh, 1973, we have our second book. Alfred Hitchcock and the Three Investigators in The Mystery of the Shrinking House. Oh, 1972, book number three, The Invisible Intruder. I think this is a Nancy Drew book. Yes, Nancy Drew in The Invisible Intruder. Book number three. 1977, book number four is The Haunted Showboat. Another Nancy Drew book. This is 1972, Alfred Hitchcock and the Three Investigators in the Mystery of the Nervous Lion. That is book number five. So far, I'm feeling pretty confident about this box. I'm gonna say this is another one. This was published in 1969. Alfred Hitchcock and the Three Investigators in the Mystery of the Moaning Cave. I'm really concerned by some of the titles of these books. 19... 45, that is five go to smuggler's top. Five, six, seven, I told you I'd forget. Book number seven. This was first published in 1989 and it is Fenella Fang and the Wicked Witch. That's book number eight. 1973, book number nine is Alfred Hitchcock and the Three Investigators in the Mystery of the Singing Serpent. Some of these book titles are really weird. That's book number nine. Book number 10 was published in 1971 and is The Clue in the Crossword Cipher, another Nancy Drew book. All right, we have 10 books. Doing well. Next up is, you can sort of tell just from like looking at the cover and how yellow the pages are, you can just sort of tell that a book is gonna be one. This book was first published it, that literally is not a publishing date. This is the copyright page and the copyright page literally does not have a date on it. Well then, this book was published in, amazing, this book was published in 1984. That is Hating Alice and Ashley. That is book number 11. I honestly did not expect that book to have been written so long ago. Also, can we talk about the fact that Delta Goodrum acted in a movie? Like, why though? All right, that's book number 11. Book number 12. Nope, I was born then. I was five when that book came out. Absolutely, I'm positive this one will have been before I was born. This book was published. Well, I'll be damned. Never mind. This book was published after I was born. Oh yeah, this one was owned by my mum. This book was definitely published beforehand. This was 1965. All right, we have book number 12, and that is Helen Keller's Teacher. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, another one I remember. This was 1942, The Children of Willow Farm, book number 13. Book 14 is, this one was 1941, this is The Adventures of Mr. Pink Whistle. Book 15, 1947, we have The Adventurous Four again. And book number 16 is 1940, The Children of Cherry Tree Farm. 17, this was published in 1946, The Folk of the Faraway Tree. So book number 18 was published in 1942 and is the naughtiest girl again. And book number 19 is, was published in 1967 and is the Enid Blyton Book of Fairies. So book number 20 must be 1950, The Wishing Chair Again. We had 20 books already and we're only in one box. I feel like I have a lot of books on my shelves or in boxes that are from before I was born, but also I haven't read most of these, so like, yikes. 
book number 21 was published in 1937 and this is Adventures of the Wishing Chair and I just found out that it's an abridged version and now I kind of want to read the original because this book was really good. So it's book 21. Book 22 was published in 1954 and is Merry Mr. Metal. Book 23 was published in 1939 and is Naughty Amelia Jane. Book number 24 is published in, ooh, it was published in the year 1967. And that is The Adventures of Binkle and Flip. Book number 25 was published in 1966 and is Enid Blyton's Stories for You. Book number 26 is published in 1968 and is The Adventures of Pip. Book 27, 1963 and is Enid Blyton's Chimney Corner Stories. I've totally forgotten what number I'm up to. Book 28, published in 1963 and is Brea Rabbit Again. Okay, book 29, 1961, and that is Trixie Belden, The Mysterious Code. This is clearly one of those books that was published and I have a new edition. Okay, we're still looking for book number 30. Still looking for 30, oh, we found it. 1977, Star Wars, From the Adventures of Luke Skywalker. Right, 30 books, you guys. Although I'm a little nervous now that I'm not gonna have 101. I was positive I would, but now I'm not so sure. Book 31, and we found it. 1945, The Naughtiest Girl is a Monitor. Book 32, 1940, The Naughtiest Girl in the School. We went through that entire box and we only have 32 out of 101 books, so let's keep going. We're looking for book number 33, which we've only just found with 1993, and that is Star Wars The Last Command. Book 34, this is 1989, so Babysitter's Winter Vacation. Looking for 35, published, ooh, 1994, just. That is Champions of the Force. Book 35. Book number 36. Oh my god, this is published in 1996. Wow, I did not see that coming. Oh my god. I absolutely did not see that coming, what the heck. Okay, this is 94. This is Jedi Search. I am actually a little bit shook, I won't lie. So we're looking for number 37. Okay, this is published in 92. That is Dark Force Rising. Looking for book 38. Right, book 38. This is 86, and this is Christie's Great Idea. Book 39, I think? 86, Claudia and the Phantom Phone Calls. And believe it or not, I have two copies of this book, so I get to count it twice. So that is 39 and book 40. Book 41, if this box doesn't get us to 101, then I'm concerned. Right, this is 86 and this is The Truth About Stacy. Book 42, 87, Mary Ann Saves the Day. Book 43 is 87 and is Dawn and the Impossible Three. Book 84, 87, Christie's Big Day. Book 85, no, book 45. <laughs> These numbers are doing my head in. So book 45 was published in 87 and is Claudia and Mean Janine. Book 46, oh, it's a sad, sad book that, uh, it's a sad, sad book, but it was published in 1987, so it counts, and that is The Truth About Stacey. So we've got book 47. Yes, can I count? Yes, book 47, which was published in 1988, and is Claudia and the New Girl. Book 48 was published in 88, and is Little Miss Stonybrook and Dawn. And book number 49 was published in 88 and is Jessie's Secret Language, which means book number 50 should be, this one was published in 1988 and it is Claudia and the Bad Joke. Book number 51. This book was published in 1989 and is Christie and the Walking Disaster. Book 51 is published in 1989 and is Mallory and the Trouble with Twins. 53 was published, oh god, oh, okay. Some of these books are just so sad. 1989 and is Jesse Ramsey Pet Sitter. Book 54 must be this one, published in 1989 and is Marianne and the Search for Tigger. Book 55, published in 1989 and is Claudia and the Sad Goodbye. Moving on to book 56, published in 1989 and is Welcome Back Stacy. Book 57, it is published in 1990 and is Marianne and the Great Romance. Book number 58, I think. Published in 1990 and is Dawn's Wicked Stepsister. Book 59. Published in 1990 and is Christie and the Secret of Susan. Which means book 60? I'm pretty sure. Published in 1990, it is Claudia and the Great Search. So book 61 is... 
Published 1990, Jessie's Babysitter. Book 62, published 1990, Dawn and the Older Boy. Book 63, Flying Through Them Now, published 1991 and is Jessie and the Dance School Phantom. Book 64, published 1991 and is Stacy's Emergency. Book 65, published 1991 and is Mary Ann, Mrs. Logan. Book 66, published 1991 is Mallory on Strike. Book 67, Published 1992 is Dawn's Big Day. Book 68, published 1992 is Christy for President. Book 69, published 1992 is Dawn Saves the Planet. Book 70 is published 1993, Jesse and the Awful Secret. Book 71, published 1993, Jesse and the Bad Babysitter. Book 73, Published 1994 is Stacy's Lie. We are getting dangerously close to my year of birth. Book 74. Published 1994 is Dawn and Whitney Friends Forever. And book 75 is published. Oh no! This book was published. My year of birth. One baby's in this club book and it doesn't count. That's so frustrating. Okay, so book 75. This is published in 1990. Book 75 is actually Karen's birthday. Book 76. Published 1990 is Karen's Haircut. Book 77 is published in 1990 and is Karen's Grandmother's. Book 78 is published in 1990 and is Karen's Surprise. Book 79, published 1991 and is Karen's Goodbye, which means book 80, published 1991 is Karen's Carnival. Book 81, published in 1994, oh god, and is Karen's Babysitter. Book 82, published 1992 is Karen's Baby. Book 83, published, nope, that's published after I was born, never mind. Published 1989 and is Karen's Worst Day. Book 84, published 1989 and is Karen's Kitty Cat Club. Book 85, 1989 and is Karen's School Picture. Book 86, is 92 and is starring the Babysitter's Club. Book 87 eight is published in 88 and is Babysitter's On Board. And now I'm out of uh, boxed books, so we're going to have to head to my bookshelves now to try to find the rest of them. We need 14 more books. Let's see if we can find them on this little mini shelf. We are looking for book number 88. I'm going to guess this one. This one was published in... 1987, and that is Misery. Book 89. This was published in 1934, and is Mary Poppins. Looking for book 90. <laughs> oh, surely. This was published 1926, and it's Winnie the Pooh. So that was book 91. It's now we're looking for book 92. I don't know if there's gonna be anything else on this shelf. Okay. Yes, 1977. So book number 92 is The Sword of Shannara. We are now looking for book number 93. I think I know where we're gonna find it. Game of Thrones is our book 93. All right, looking for book 94. It was published in 1962 and is A Wrinkle in Time. Book 95, published in 1973 and is A Wind in the Door. Book 96 was published in 1978 and is A Swiftly Tilting Planet. Book 97 was published in 1986 and is Many Waters. Book 98 was published in 1989 and is Acceptable Time. We need Book 99. Ha! Yes! Surely, surely. Book 99. Yes! This is published in 1945 and is The Catcher in the Rye. I need Book 100. Book 100 published in 1926 and is The Murder of Roger Ackroyd. And lucky last, Book 101. Published in 1957, it's 450 from Paddington. Hopefully that's 101 books, so we are just gonna, we're really quickly gonna count them because I don't trust myself. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50! Doing well so far. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay. Well, 69. Surely not. 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. 
99, we're missing two books! Oh, honestly, not even surprised. Okay, we need to find two more books. We have two more books. I have, for book 100, published in 1938, we have Rebecca. And for book 101, published in 1993, we have The Last Wish. And now, we count one more time, just to be sure. Ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, one hundred, one hundred and one! And there we go, one hundred and one books on my bookshelves that were published before I was born. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, if you want to enter the giveaway for today, be sure to hop on over to my video on the Because We Can Readathon YouTube channel page, as that is the video you will need to leave a link to your entry in the comment section of. If you like this video, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Stay random. Bye.